Hi students, welcome to my lectures on thermodynamics. Finally, we came to the topic on defining first law of thermodynamics. Okay, the first law of thermodynamics is basically the energy conservation process. Okay, there are different kinds of energies. Okay, the names internal energy, heat energy, work energy, there are different kinds of energies that how we can deal with at a time so energy in energy out that means law of conservation of energy is the first law of thermodynamics before uh, as you uh, watch my previous lectures we have defined what is system what is surroundings what is isolated system these are the things and today we are going to discuss about the first law of thermodynamics which applies to system and surroundings for a closed system as you know we are defining first law so if you go back to my previous lectures you will understand the, what is a closed system the closed system is let us assume i have some system glass of water okay in a container there is nothing that is coming in there is nothing that is going out from the system everything is contained in this box so if there are no flow that is happening then we can apply the first law of thermodynamics for this kind of closed system and if you think that the box is your system which consists of some material which could be water or air anything outside the box you consider it as a surroundings okay as you know there are different kinds of energies heat energy work energy the main thing is uh, that comes in the first law is internal energy that means energy containing within the system is called internal energy that means the molecules inside the system will try to store the energy in the form of internal energy internal energy could be i mean uh, it's the i mean uh, random motion of the molecules okay be, uh, because of the kinetics that is the molecules will not sit stay calm it will move here 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 and there because that is called the kinetic energy and uh, if i keep the system at the first floor or second floor in a building then it has some potential energy and the third energy um, along with the kinetic energy and potential energy is containing within the molecules electronic on because the molecules will not be sitting at the same position it has some vibrations it has some rotational motions okay if you club everything kinetic energies potential energies and energy containing within the molecules in the in their electronic configurations everything is combined is called the internal energy so within the system only internal energy will be there okay and as you can see apart from because if you draw a boundary that means this is a boundary within this boundary is your system outside the boundary it's called the surroundings how you can because i if i decided to change the internal energy somehow i wanted to increase the internal energy what i can do what i can do is either you supply heat through burning okay or you can do some sort of work okay to the system like the example it's a kind of stirrer inside the system if you start rotating the stirring some work energy will go into the system some heat energy will go into the system which will change this internal energy u is represented by internal energy that means i can change this internal energy either by supplying heat or by supplying work by these two modes i can change the internal energy of the system there is another thing which which is uh, i mean we know will not be discussed here so through work i can change through heat i can change what is the another thing i can do to change this internal energy is conduct some sort of reaction okay if it is exothermic reaction heat will be released endothermic reaction heat will be absorbed that means for me to change this internal energy of system either i can supply in the form of heat or supply in the form of work or conduct some reaction these are the three things i can use to change the internal energy of the system okay let us define the delta u is nothing but change in internal energy from state one to state two that means state two minus state one that is once the change in internal energy 
is contributed by by supplying heat or supplying work that is what the basic definition of the first law that means let me explain you one more time the change in internal energy that means change in internal energy of the system u2 minus u1 u1 u2 is the um, i mean after supplying the heat or work u1 is before u2 minus u1 means what is the change uh, between the two states state 2 minus state 1 is contributed by q plus w plus reaction because we are not conducting any reaction here we are neglecting the third term here next comes is the change in internal energy is nothing but changes happening within the system that is why delta u is nothing but change in system energy q plus w is something to do with surroundings because either you supply heat or remove heat either you supply work or remove work which something to do with the surroundings so that is why delta u is equal to q plus w the delta u contribution is from the system and the surrounding energy change i mean q plus w is contribution from the surroundings that is why if you follow any famous books you observe this statement okay let us come to the sign convention in the thermodynamics very important to deal with this with the modern sign convention and older sign conventions if you refer to the older books the sign convention will be different if you refer the new books the mo i mean modern books the sign convention will be different in older books okay heat energy if you supply heat energy to the system is positive if you supply work to the system will be negative okay this is the a, a bit confusing thing that at the time people have used not confusing at the time it is correct because they work with heat engines what they do is for a given heat input to the piston and cylinder how much work i can extract so that is what that is why heat supplied will be positive work extracted is a positive that means these both terms you know, I mean, older sign convention people have used but recently it has changed it is very simple anything to the system whether it's heat is you're supplying heat to the system it is positive whether supplying work to the system it is positive if you're removing heat from the system it is negative and if you're removing work from the system is called i mean negative so this is the modern sign convention so that is why the first law is plus or minus q plus or minus w positive will be used when you supply anything to the system negative will be used if you remove anything from the system that is why to the system is always positive anything to the system by the system that means if your system is doing work on the surroundings then everything will be negative let us do a very simple example uh, to clarity clarify the things let us example one let us use this first law of thermodynamics for a closed system and the problem is as follows there is a system okay heat supplied to the system is 30 joules stirring work that means you can supply the work work is in the form of number of things it will be displacement work flow work i mean stirring work there are number of kinds of work will be there presently let us concentrate on the normal stirring work that means the one we have discussed is stirring work to the system the heat supplied is 30 joules stirring work supplied to the system is 15 joules now use the first law to calculate the change in internal energy of the system so delta u is a change in internal energy which is u2 minus u1 which is equal to 30 minus 15 okay <sighs> work supplied to the system it is uh, uh, supplied to the system is a positive it is nothing but 45 okay sorry for this because i have taken to the system is always positive that is why 30 is taken as a positive work supplied to the system is 15 joules that is work is also have taken as a positive so finally it is 45 joules okay and the second example heat removed from the system okay somehow heat removing from the system is 30 joules and work supplied to the system is 15 joules removing means negative that is why delta u is equal to u2 minus u1 here the q is minus 30 because we have removed heat from the system stirring work supplied to the system is positive okay that means altogether minus 15 joules of energy that means 
you can see here positive means second state is higher than the first state okay that is why u2 is greater than u1 in such cases only you get a positive here negative that means after certain work and heat to the system the internal energy has been reduced okay because u2 is less than u1 because you have removed more amount of heat from the system which brings the internal energy system to a much lower level compared to the stage one state one so that is why u2 is less than u1 here heat removed from the system is 30 joules and stirring work done by the system is 15 joules here what have you heat removed that is why delta is equal to state 2 minus state 1 is equal to minus 30 and heat is minus 15 okay as you can see both are negative because heat is removed from the system and his work is done by the system on the surroundings so minus 30 and minus 15 gives rise to minus 45 okay in such cases you can see i mean uh, here it is a uh, positive number it is negative number it is more negative number this is how we can apply the first law of thermodynamics for a closed system hope you understand that first law is nothing but energy conservations energy could be of many types system will consisting of only one energy which is internal energy internal energy is nothing but kinetic potentials okay i mean uh, kind of electronic configurations energy every energy uh, contained within the atoms molecules okay because of their positions movements everything contributes to the internal energy everything every other energy like heat and work it comes from the surroundings okay that is what the first law of thermodynamics for a closed system okay i hope you understood let us move forward to learn more into the work and heat thank you very much